supply chain shortages on the Raspberry Pi I've been getting a lot of comments about how you cannot find a Raspberry Pi and if you can they're just ridiculously priced and I've seen the post by the scammers people doubling and things like that it is wild and it sucks they have written about this now they say they have plenty of the parts they need for the Raspberry Pi 4 products they're producing half a million boards per month and they're working on you know increasing the supply they're also working on their other issue they're seeing is there are a lot of bot buyer scammers that you know these bots that buy up large quantities and they're working on trying to squish that but there are still people doing that um, they reiterated you know that please only buy the pie from an authorized reseller you can go on the pie foundation website and then there's like a buy a pie button and they're saying you know make sure you go through there you know um, I think there's other way there's a, yeah there's other suppliers like Vilros and and Canna and all these other ones that um, I believe are on the Pi Foundation website but yeah buy from you know one of them now uh, they did say that the Pi 400 and the Pi Pico should be readily available that they have a large stock of those those are not necessarily in shortage so you might just have to go for the Pi 400 I know that's quite a bit more expensive than the Pi 4 was you know if you're just buying it straight but you know that's where they're pointing you at this point uh, so as far as the Pi 5 I don't expect anything soon I doubt it I, they're barely they're struggling with this um, some other good news though is you know one that they do have the parts readily available so it's just a capacity thing they're working on it two I don't know if you all heard but there's graphics card shortages are, are dying as well as the Xbox and the PlayStation 5 although the Xbox is definitely the one that seems to be way more in stock same thing with the Nintendo um, switch as well you know all these systems i kind of bundle them you know are kind of readily available same thing with amd and intel processors so a lot of this stuff that was very much in shortage and and, and high in demand uh we're starting to see some equilibrium here and uh it feels good right when when uh a scalper gets stuck with a bunch of units that they can no longer you know sell for a premium so speaking of which you see like these posts where people will be like oh you know with gas prices I'm selling my pies you know here and then they throw up the prices and I'm like this person is not just trying to get rid of their pie this person's trying to take advantage of the shortage and make a ton of money on it and I bet he's not even complaining about the gas prices he just wants to sell these things so just be wary out there anytime you see deals and things you know there's 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 scammers there's scalpers you know it, it sucks so that's your update for today um, you know, some people are also saying, wait for the Pi 5. Someone's like, oh, I finally found a Pi 4. They're like, <laughs> loser, you should have waited for the Pi 5, man. It's coming out in a few months. And it, it's not. It's not going to be coming out in a few months. So if you get yourself on a Pi 4 at a reasonable price, you should never look back. Um, it does seem, though, that the way they worded it, the Pi 3 and the Pi, the Pi 3B and B plus and the commute module compute module three that runs the similar processor um, those do look like they may be in shortage for a while they didn't address that they only addressed the Pi 4 so that might still be an issue I'm just kind of reading into it but uh, we'll see okay so now it is officially over so that's your update let me know what you all think I hope you all have a great day